How's it going guys? It's Mr. Lone Wolf and uh, today I'm going to attempt well, the first part of uh, this paper factory section B. I want to go and get the bricks sorted. It's kind of worked out nicely because I sort of wanted to do a separate video showing uh, how to make the bricks and everything. So yeah, we've got double dolphin, double dolphs. Um, got the two ramp flatbeds, not too keen on them if I'm honest, but I need uh, 12 bricks and you need to build the bricks by the way. Uh, you need cement which you can get from Cargo Creation Zone 1. And you also need packaged sand, which you can get from Cargo Creation Zone 2. This is the route I'm going. Kind of, I'm going to have to go through the farm, um, cut down over the wooden bridge to the brick farm. Th uh, sorry, the brick factory. Drop all the cement off. Go to the quarry. Get packaged sand. Back to the brick factory. Build some uh, bricks, and then head to the paper mill. What could possibly go wrong? Um, yeah, to build the bricks, you need like it's one cement and one packaged sand just for one bricks, which to be honest, I think is a little bit greedy. It probably could have been like, you know, per two lots of bricks, since you're getting two pallets worth of stuff and you only get one pallet's worth out of it. But whatever, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll get going and we'll see. Like I say, for this one, I'm bringing the dolphins because I'm going to have to go through the farm. I knew this mission wouldn't be easy, so it was going to have to be one of the better trucks in the game, really. Um, I'm definitely bringing my loafs because... I love my loaves, but for this one I actually think they are needed. <laughs> I always say, I'll say that regardless, I'd say that if I needed to drive down the road, but uh, yeah, the fuel isn't going to last, so I definitely need fuel, I might possibly need supplies, and I was trying to think, is that even if I took say Tagers, they're pretty decent trucks, they're a bit smaller than this though, so I think this is a better heavy hauler than the Tager. Um, the Tager's got 330 litres, but I still don't think that'd be enough anyway. And uh, yeah, so in the end, this is this is what I went with. And coming down here, I actually uh, just had to quit and save and reload it at that point there. I got uh, pretty wedged on the rocks and I winched to the wrong thing and tipped my truck over. So fortunately, it just basically loaded me back up there. And we're off. Yeah, I tried to cut around this way. Instead of going through the uh, river, a few people have mentioned like cutting across here. In some ways, it's better, but it's also a little bit sketchy sometimes. So... I don't know. To be honest, I use both ways. Sometimes uh, when I cut across the river, I'm doing it if I've not recently been through there in a truck, just for my own curiosity to see how well it does. Um, yeah, coming up to here, so Cargo Creation Zone 1, like I said, that's where you get the cement from. And to do that, you've got to take a generator there, build the cement, and then, yeah, pack the cement, and we're off. So, yeah, like I say, I need 12 lots of bricks, so... 12 lots of cement I've got to go haul in, which I knew would go fantastically amazingly well. I was just looking to see if I could build more cement. Obviously, again, I forgot I recovered the pay style the other day. I need to turn that bloody generator back on. I could disconnect the trailer now and just quickly turn it on, but you'll see I kind of just come up with a bit of a longer term solution. Unfortunately, the dolphin's pretty good at ramming that trailer out of the way. This is, I mean, it's not just the dolphin, but it does this like a renowned one is a mandra if you reverse into the concrete blocks that are just behind where it spawns you outside the garage. Yeah, you just touch them at one mile an hour. That absolutely nailed half my suspension and blew a tyre. Fortunately, you see, we have got a goddamn professional on hand. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this is one of the many reasons to get yourself a loaf. He's got spare tyres. I have got one spare tyre on the Dolphin, but, I mean, what if we blow another tyre? you got to plan ahead for these things. I was on an hour and then I was like, nah, I won't fix the suspension yet. Because I might take some trollish kind of hit that just deletes the whole suspension. So the less health it's got at the minute is probably the better. The only thing it would be nice if you could kind of select how many points you would like to give to a certain upgrade. Because say if you've got suspension and it's 300 health and you've got 300 points in your loaf. It's like I only need to fix it by 10 <laughs> to make the suspension pop back up. Well one. But it's going to obviously make me uh, give the lot away. So six out of 12 cement. Um, yeah, this is what I'm just quickly nipping down with this, the uh, F750. Again, I do like it, driving it now. It's uh, a shame there's not really more reasons to drive it. I could probably squeeze a few in. That's what she said. Um, there's a few trucks and things to rescue on this map that you don't have to go particularly far, so maybe I'll get one of these out and take it. It's going a bit for a rally special down there. And uh, yeah, the trailer wasn't too happy about it. See, at this point, it's annoying if you touch a truck that's got something packed on it, it kind of moves it forward, but it won't move the packed thing forward. But I have to say, I was pretty damn impressed myself by the loaf there. 
his winch or something to the side. Normally that kind of like start to pull the back end round, but for whatever reason, he was having none of it. He wanted back on his dolphin. He was living his dreams. Wasn't going to let anyone stop him. So uh, yeah, I kind of figured while I'm here and I've got this one here, I'll, I forgot to mention, but yeah, I cut the winch between these two when I was getting the uh, the first dolphin. Well, black dolphin. What was he? He's my second dolphin. I think this is my third, third or fourth dolphin. But the other ones are otherwise engaged. OG Dolphin is on Greenwoods River, with a loaf on his head of course. I couldn't possibly disturb him in such a enjoyable moment as that. Um, yeah, I mean I didn't have high hopes for the F750 getting across here. It's a bit of a beast regardless, as you can see, even the Dolphin ain't uh, particularly happy about it. I mean again, it's kind. Of, if you hit the right sweet spot, it is better than cutting from, like, yeah, the river the normal way, but there's a lot of rocks and stuff under the water. And sometimes they can get you, like, leaning quite a bit in all sorts. So, I don't know. It's one of them. You can kind of do it. Take your chances. It's going to go one or two ways. So, you can see, already on, like, quite a bit of a lean on the go. It's not too bad. The dolphin's pretty decent for not tipping, to be fair. And, uh, yeah, you can see from the size of this mission, it's uh, one of the biggest videos I'd have made. This will probably end up uploading a little bit late, because, well, I'm just... I've finished editing now, but I'm now doing my voice on it, and then, uh, yeah, then I've got to render the video, then I've got to upload the video, so... It'll probably be a bit of a late one, but... Uh, as you can see, things took a bit longer <laughs> than expected. Well, I kind of knew already, just had a gut feeling that when it went, said 12 bricks, and I knew that I needed to get cement and package sand, then build the bricks, blah, blah, blah. I knew this one little bit on its own would take a while. And as I said, unless I did this whole mission in another live stream, to be fair, I've probably spent a good three hours easily doing this, I would have thought. So uh, even on a live stream, I probably would have ended up kind of having to do half of this. But yeah, if I can get this brick thing done in one, in its own separate mission, like I said, then I've got a video that kind of lets anyone know if they want how uh, the bricks are made, what you need to do. Oh yeah, the other thing is you need to build the power station first, is one of the contracts. There's me splatting a F750 into a cargo container. Yeah, you need um build the power plant, and once you do that, it unlocks like the metal rolls factory and the brick factory and then yeah possibly for the rest of the stuff that I need to deliver I can probably do that in just one other video because I think for everything on there I can like go and get it from somewhere I don't need to go flying all over the map to build the stuff so uh, yeah like I said cut most of that out but I took the F750 up there connected it to the generator turn that on Took some spare fuel. I, don't, I didn't really use it that time, but you never know. Um, yeah, built six more cement. So yeah, I'm in an R in. Could I reverse? No. Instantly, the dolly axle thing is just seesawing to the side. It's just, yeah, a disaster. It's not going to happen, so I'm going to have to go for a, uh, a million pointer. Well, it wasn't really helping that the F750 is where it is at the minute, but I was kind of too stubborn and lazy to... Uh, <laughs> do anything about that either. Just like, right, ram the trailer. If in doubt, a bit of brute force, never hurt anyone. I mean, look at it, like, don't do it. No. Why? Why trailer? This is why I do not like that trailer. It needs, I don't know, maybe some kind of limiter on its dolly axle-ness, so it can't go so far under that it just kind of hinges the trailer. I mean, look at it. Just trying to reverse the bloody thing is a nightmare. Trying to turn it around is a nightmare. The only thing it does well is get towed down a straight, smooth road. And I say well, I would say acceptably, but not about well. And then yeah, it's got rails underneath it that get caught on everything every time you go over a bump. The rear axles or something is like an anchor on this thing where it just digs into everything and it seems harder to tow than it should be. But um, yeah, one of the many reasons. Bring myself a dolphin. It's uh, yeah, one of the better trucks in the game, so if anything's going to handle it, this will be the one. So yeah, already 10 minutes into the video, and what are we, down the road from the garage? <laughs> but we've got one of the harder parts done. I don't know what she said. Um, yeah, I've got 12 cement. I am, unfortunately, going to have to cut through the farm, but as you can see, I'm going to kind of veer off. Instead of kind of going the proper way onto that middle island where the, uh, the metal roll factory is, and then have to follow that snaky, annoying road, yeah, I'm going to kind of cut through the farm, cut through the water, past a brick-framed house thing, which I could could have raided a few of them, I suppose. Three little pigs, one 
probably wouldn't be too impressed, but that's not my problem. But yeah, by the, as I was going to head this way anyway and have to do it, I was like, sod it, let's just go all out. Let's take 12, 12 cement on a big fat dolphin road train. And uh, I am going to be cutting ahead on a few sections here, but yeah, as you can see, the farm is just pretty painful. But the thing that really doesn't help right now, I'm caught on a tree trunk thing lying across the water and I believe it might be on the dolphin behind me so it wasn't like registering to just get it out of the way as quickly as it normally would. Once we got them out of the way though, I mean this still not amazing but I could live with it. Like if it was just that permanently, I mean again I'm kind of I've got a bit over it now with the farm. It's just boring. That's sort of like it doesn't annoy me like it used to. It's just it is boring. That is all there is to it. You've just got to aim the truck where you want to go and yeah, look around your room, start whistling, talk to your cat, have a look on YouTube, just do anything to pass the time. When you're going two miles an hour, the only difficult in quotations with thing with this farm area, it's a fuel killer. That's about it because you're just going two miles an hour no matter what, and you've got to be flooring it flat out. You probably could drop it in the low range and save a little bit of juice, but I don't know. I just if I can hear the revs shouting even louder, that cheers me up. Makes me feel better when I feel like the engine is putting in as much effort as me. If I'm squeezing that throttle the whole way down, I wanna hear all the revs. Go around here, got that tree stump tries to get me. It's close. Dolphin got over it just. Yeah, you have to go a bit wide with this, with this road train. Again, it's more the ramp flatbed, as you can see, as it kind of tugs against the uh, the second dolphin. It just it kind of pulls it tight and shifts it more in the corner, like it cuts on the inside of the corner. So, and then yeah, the dolphin behind kind of follows it. And this is where we're about to drop a few things off here. And a few times I approach from the other way and I kind of used the little road, cut down past the brick thing, cut through the water and got to this point here where you have to drop some stuff off. So yeah, I've never used it going this way but figured we uh, may as well give it a chance. It was either this or even more farm to drive through. And then like I said, once I actually get to the like that little middle island, I've got to go up that wiggly road with rocks all over the place and all sorts. Not too worried about the dolphin being able to do that, but it's these trailers if they hit a rock or I don't know, yeah, I just um yeah, not keen on these trailers. I mean a version of this trailer with like even sideboards would be a start, because at least once it tips enough to disconnect the cargo, it would rest against the sideboard, unless now you fully flip the uh the trailer like on its side so the cargo can tip out, but like where it tipped on me when I uh, loaded the other dolphin. If the trailer was a sideboard version, I know it's got a ramp at the back, but just have three sides that are sideboards, and then the ramp is, yeah, just that end is has nothing. Um, it'd work a hell of a lot better. Or it, yeah, it'd save you on 90% of the time, the trailer tips enough from the dolly axle to just auto-unpack the uh, cargo and then chuck it off. You can see cutting across here is definitely pretty sketchy. I was uh, winching like the road train, but I think at some point I disconnected. Because, yeah, what I didn't want to do was kind of keep flooring it, chew myself into the floor. And the other thing is, as you can see from my fuel, that's getting a little bit low. So, kind of hauling the dolphin behind me and nailing even more fuel was not, not the best option at the minute. Trying to get it in high gear, it wasn't quite liking it then. But, yeah, if you can get over that river, I mean, there was a tree carcass thing laying in the uh, water so I was able to reach that which is pretty nice of them <laughs> all things considered it, uh, if that wasn't there it would have been some seriously slow flooring it and waiting for things to happen or getting stuck but that's one of the other reasons to have a loaf on me because worst case kind of a, a last resort I'll disconnect the loaf, drive him off the roof send him ahead and use him as a mobile winch point so, I mean, yeah, well, yeah. I, think, I think we've covered many reasons to get yourself a loaf, but I'll be covering many more. It's never, never a good time to stop. I actually started getting a little bit stuck here. Uh, yeah, I wasn't too happy about it. I wasn't sure if it was just jiggling because of the lack of fuel, but as you can see, I cut it out, but I topped it up. Got some fuel from the loaf. 
but the tyres were still jiggling a bit. I believe it was just, yeah, one of them where it was like basically running out of power. I do think though since the whole um, fine tune gearbox update, yeah, they've messed something up with the gearboxes. They're not behaving as decently as they used to. So I think that might have something to do with it as well. I mean, it wasn't the end of the world. Flung a few panic winches out and they didn't really help, but for whatever reason, when you fling a winch out, it just kind of, it's like it gives you a little grip bonus or something. Um, yeah, unpack loaf, fueled it up. I'm going to cut most of this out because it's basically the same journey again. I was uh, getting pretty stuck. Fortunately, just about reached that uh, tree carcass thing. Some pretty meaty rocks to climb over, but you can kind of see it rotating my nose around. It went under the chassis. Uh, yeah. Topping up me dolphin. So again, I, already, I only would have made it this far if I didn't have my loafs with me. Or I would have had to have gone the long way through the farm, fingers crossed made it to the fuel station, and then gone, yeah, the wiggly road route and all that. This was uh, definitely a lot better in my mind. <laughs> it probably was quicker as well. Like I said, I'd have to split the road train up going through that little zigzaggy bit of road anyway, so it was going to happen one way or another. This one, though, kept it pinned, and uh, yeah, just about made it up. You can see the tyres starting to jiggle a little bit, though. But there is enough power, and again, because it's got one extra axle compared to most trucks in this game, stuff like the Tegra and that, I think that just is a little bit of extra grip, but yeah, just enough sometimes. This is also heavier than the Tager, so it kind of plants itself into the mud bed. Like, the Tager is brilliant, there's no doubt about it. But when you're doing some seriously heavy hauling, it's, uh, I probably would prefer to take the Dolphin if I can. And we're away. I, again, I cut a bit out there. I had to go back and start the engine on the uh, Dolphin in the back. Because this thing was really not happy about towing it. So again, you still see it being a bit awkward though with the gears. Which, yeah, out of everything, the Dolphin was pretty solid with that. The same with getting into high gear. The Dolphin, you saw, like, once it was in the high gear, it was practically unstoppable. Unless you hit something like and stubbed your chin and kind of stopped dead, it was, uh, yeah, whereas I've noticed it in the last week or so. It's still pretty bloody good, don't get me wrong, but it has more chance of dropping out of high range. So you can see that. Uh, cutting in tighter behind, it's tipping. I mean, look what a goddamn professional. He knew, he knew the situation. He jumped off to save the dolphin. That is what you can expect from a loaf. So, poached him quickly, <laughs> cleaned him out, got all the spares, repairs, everything we needed. Oh, I didn't fix my suspension, but oh well. Um, yeah, we got all the fuel off him anyway. You see, just because I tapped that vehicle in front, it moved my uh, OG loaf and he slid off the back of my dolphin. So again, cut that out, but we got him back on. You can't stop a loaf. Um, yeah, I could sit there and faff around and get the loaf back on the other dolphin, but to be honest, I've still got one with me, so I'm happy with that. It did its main job. It fueled my uh, rear dolphin up. It's completely empty of fuel now anyway, so it's, it has repairs and stuff with it, but this one does anyway, so yeah. I was like, we'll, we'll call it a day. He is a goddamn professional. He'll be alright on his own there. We may, may or may not see him later. So... Fortunately, that was, well, I was going to say actually, probably spoke a bit soon, but that was kind of one of the main awkward sections to get through. Getting the cement and getting through that bloody farm and everything else. Now, it's a little bit more plain sailing on the, uh, the centre island. Here's the wooden bridge, which we fortunately built the other day. Although, to be fair, I reckon the dolphin could still have drove through to the left or right of it. I've done it before. It'd probably be a bit slow with the uh, all this cargo and that, but I still reckon it'd do it. But it does show you, though, that the fact that I could drive through that water, which is probably deep enough to get to the roof of the dolphin, they've obviously dialed up the restrictive water and everything else elsewhere. I mean, that water I just cut through from the farm, for example, was not even deep enough to cover my tyres. Yeah, it was ten times harder than it would be driving through that bit that's, yeah, ten times deeper. Yeah, it was a nice little run. Now we've got to cut up this gorge, or whatever you want to call it, big scar down the hill. Um, yeah, to the brick factory. Drop me cement off. Uh, 
and it gets a little bit slow here. This actually still does do pretty decently because I drove up here earlier in a Taiga just on its own. All it was is before I started this mission, I drove to the big, big, <laughs> the brick factory just to double check that it was cement and packaged sand it needed. I already thought it was, but I just I thought what I don't want to do is arrive there with 12 lots of cement and then it needs concrete slabs or something for some stupid reason. So yeah, I figured for the sakes of like five minutes or whatever, just go and send the Tager off to investigate the situation. And uh, yeah, the Tager was going not much faster than this on its own, so the fact that this is actually still going, well, it's still a road train at the minute as well, so it's doing even better than I thought. I do disconnect at some point. I mean, again, you can see from the fuel situation, trying to climb up here, we're into the 20s, 24, 26 is that or something. Again, it shrinks the screen when I, just when I need it. <laughs> um, yeah, there we go. Cut it loose. There's no point, because I'd, I'd end up just nailing the fuel. It's going to be nailing the fuel on the one behind me as well, because it just is. So, in that sense, yeah, I'm better off running them separately. Now I've got a winch that I can keep flinging out and... I mean, again, going up here, it's mainly the rocks that are the things that slow you down. If there was no rocks at all, it'd be going a little bit faster. There's a few tree carcasses as well, which I'd rather not kill if I can help it, because, yeah, every now and then they're coming in handy just to fling a winch out. And, uh, yeah, there's no doubt about it, this is a bit of a, <laughs> a, bit of a slow part. I was tempted, I, like, I could cut it out, but in the end, is there any point? It's only a couple of minutes going up here, but... Yeah, this is the mission, <laughs> this is what I have to do, this is what you'll have to do as well if you, uh... well the only other way, I mean I could have cut all the way through uh, the farm, kind of gone down the bottom corner, but I'd have to go past that waterfall bit where it leans like a madman and I'd probably tip and then cement would go everywhere. And then there's not a decent entrance into the quarry if you approach from that side anyway, so you'll see in a minute, it's like the way I approach is basically the best way to head into the quarry after the brick farm. Well, saying that actually, I suppose if I'd gone the other way I would have had to have drove to the brick farm first and dropped the stuff off, so it probably wouldn't have made much difference, but I'm still pretty convinced that this is the quicker way of the two. And the safer in the long run. I mean, the farm was slow, cutting across the water was slow, but it wasn't risky in terms of tipping. And uh, yeah, the centre island was pretty quick after we got up that first hill. And then, yeah, now we're here, which, again, tipping's not the scariest issue, it's just the, the slowness of all these bloody rocks. And, I mean, again, with this section, it's another fuel killer, really, because you just, you can't help but go slow, and you can't help but have revs kind of going flat out. Again, could drop it in low, but the reduced revs, I think it can take a little bit longer, especially when you're scrambling over rocks, you kind of, the actual rev speed kind of helps just to claw onto them and help kind of flick them under your tyre. If you go in too slow, it'll just scoff against it and not really do a lot. But I'd rather drive up this section than through the farm. The farm is just pretty boring. This is still a little bit slow, but at least it's more entertaining. I don't know. I'm going up through like a big deep gully that's carved into the uh, the side of the hill, and yeah, there's a load of rocks and all the rest of it. It's kind of, It makes more sense. It feels more realistic that you'd be going this slow and awkward and flinging a few winches out and whatnot. So why couldn't you just choose that tree to begin with? This game needs to learn like winch priorities. <laughs> Use winch priorities 101. When there's a vehicle behind me, I'm not winched to some random shrub that's off to the left or right of it because I clearly didn't want the shrub. And uh, yeah, if you have a choice between trees that stay where they are planted and little shrubs that ping out in half a second, Prioritise the trees. Just common sense. Loaf knows. And we finally made it. So yeah, this brick factory on my left. Uh, like I say, you've got to do the power plant mission. The power plant mission wasn't too bad. It was pretty enjoyable as well. There was just a guy that Thingboy69 was telling me. I believe he did this mission before he did the power plant mission. So he didn't have enough bricks. And I believe what he did is went to Greenwood River poached the bricks, there's some mission, what's it called, uh, something into the wild or something like that, I can't remember, but there's bricks scattered everywhere, I think he went and poached them, <laughs> and then like refreshed them, you know, restarted the mission, so it reset them all back, 
And uh, yeah, there's a few brick frame houses, etc. all around, so I don't think he needed 12 bricks to scavenge, but yeah, that was one way around it. But overall, I think this is more how the game was uh, planning. So when I was cutting up here, I just went to the left with the first dolphin. I'm not going to leave all this in, but I did notice, because it's kind of loads of rocks and everything going around to the left, whereas this section, if I can get up this little bump, there's no rocks. Was it worth it? I don't really know. See again? Leave me alone, shrubs. The only reason I don't completely hate those shrubs <laughs> is because one of the few vehicles that can make use of those shrubs is, yes, you've guessed it, the goddamn professional. They don't always 100% stay in the ground, but I've flipped many, many loaves with those little shrubs. And they ain't flipping a dolphin, I don't know that much. I don't know, actually, every now and then, it's not very common, but some of those shrubs in this level, this map, are anchored in like a proper tree, but they seem pretty rare, I don't know, it's kind of about four out of five seem to pop out of the ground. In fact, that one might have been a shrub that just stayed uh, pretty solid. Yeah, I'm not sure if it was worth it or not, but as you can see, it was slightly better progress <laughs> to be made. It probably was quicker in the long run. And uh, yeah, back over this little hill, and then we're kind of back. Back to where I was with the other dolphin, so I'll cut ahead, there's no point in doing this section again. So, step one complete, deliver 12 lots of cement to the brick factory. At least it accepts them a lot quicker. I don't know why, but it did. So fortunately for me, it just worked out pretty nicely. I had a plan B, by the way, for fuel. Which you'll see later on, because it ends up being like Plan B.20. Um, yeah, there is the Tager that I drove here earlier, just to double check. That's got fuel. And oh yes, we raiding it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Bit for me life. He's earned it. I mean, yeah. This dolphin and life got the lion's share of that fuel. <laughs> Leave the scraps for the uh, the dolphin at the back, but... I mean, he's the lazy one of the two. He's getting towed along by me, so he doesn't deserve as much fuel as me. And then, yeah, kind of go double back on yourself, back out the uh, brick factory, and the entrance to the quarry is basically just up here, round to the left. So not too bad. We are at, yeah, well, there you can see the line. You can see where the, uh, the quarry starts. So this one's been drinking quite a bit of fuel as well, because uh, normally when you're doing a road train, like the truck at the back doesn't seem to put in a lot of effort, but because of that it doesn't use as much fuel, but to be honest I would rather it uses as much fuel and yeah, puts in its own fair share of effort. It appears like the dolphin is. Again with that trailer, it's a good job I didn't have anything on it, because it probably would have just gone flying. Um, yeah, I mean it's drinking a lot, but at least it's kind of pulling its own weight. And this little section isn't too bad. Now we've got empty trucks and trailers. It should be a little bit quicker. I knew it. Of course it's going to winch to a tree first. This is snow runner. It should be called tree wincher. Or shrub wincher even. <laughs> so yeah, just around here. The only thing I would suggest is... Should have kept on with the hard left and just gone, like, the inside of that tree. Because I already know what's going to happen. I'm trying to floor it, fingers crossed. Just don't look and pray. Nope. <laughs> we hit it. Oh yes, slap bang in the middle. But yeah, here's the quarry just ahead of us. Thank God. Again, just cut that out. I just drove the other dolphin, like, around that tree by itself. And I just quickly, I thought, oh god, I, uh, I forgot to save the footage when I was at the brick factory. And yeah, if I do one of these missions and I miss a bit of footage, it's kind of screwed the whole video up, really, because there'll just be a patch of mission that is missing. Um, yeah, at this point, I've split the train up. The reason why is because you can follow the long road looping round into the quarry, or you can do my patented, scary, dangerous, probably overly risky, needless way, which is the best way, of course. 
down this extremely steep, dodgy hill. Practically got dolphin and loaf written all over it. Uh, yeah, so instead of, like I said, doing about three laps of the entire quarry as you slowly spir spiral your way around, get down to here, that's one spiral. <laughs> one or two cut out. Another one, because we're going to go down this hill, around the back of this building. That's the only thing to worry about there with the old dolphin, is if it catches its chin, it'll do like a big fat wheelie and might tip the old loaf off. And I'm not sure we can let that happen. Um, yeah, so this is what Cargo Creation Zone 2, I believe, aka the quarry. I uh, was the one I prepared earlier. I brought a generator ages ago, to be honest. Um, yeah, put the generator there, get it running. All you can build here is packaged sand, that's it. So I get six of them made. I think I already made like 30 last time I was here. And now, in theory, I've got two choices. I can follow all the wiggly roads to get back out of there, or I can again go for the overly stubborn, overly risky, back up the hill option, which of course sounded like an amazing idea in my head at the time. So that is the one we <laughs> we went for. Anything I probably would recommend at this point, I could have just kind of spanned the trail around first. I mean, it's not too bad, but it does scare me a bit. So, one good thing. Not only did I bring a generator when I last came here, but I also brought a big fuel tanker. So I was able to build like 30 odd pieces of packed sand and then keep the uh, generator fully topped up on fuel. The nice thing about that is it's time to raid the generator of fuel. So I can fill my uh, dolphin back up to the brim and then I can fill my loaf up and the roof rack up as well. So we're basically back to like 400 fuel on this little uh, this little section of the train. Done. And uh, yeah, I mean last time when I left with the Voron Grad, I think I had a mostly empty fuel trailer thing, semi-trailer I believe it was. but. Uh, yeah, I was able to drive back up out of here, so there was no reason to believe <laughs> the same wasn't possible right now. And that's what we're about to find out. It's getting a little bit steep. I was going to say it's getting some Quarry Hill vibes, but it literally is a Quarry Hill. Um, yeah, as you can see about now, it's a lot muddier, like juicy mud, that I am very quickly sinking into. Which I didn't really realise until about now. Oh no. Because <laughs> the horrible thing, well not horrible or whatever, but you get to this point. I can't reverse because the trailer will tip, so you kind of committed to whatever way you go. Long story short, disconnected the trailer off this, sent in dolphin number two. I'm trying to uh, winch it up a bit better, it wasn't really having it. Uh, basically, I'd be better off yet yeah, in that dolphin and kind of flinging a winch out. I need to be kind of flooring this one and steering it and doing what I need to do. And it's, uh, yeah, a bit sketchy, a bit close. I mean, it's pretty tight around here. <laughs> Definitely what she said. But, yeah, if there was more room to kind of... The, uh, the dolphin in front, because it's going up the next hill, as I'm winching it, it's got no weight. I'm kind of lifting it off the hill. So, it is helping me up a little bit, and I believe also where the squidgy mud is, it kind of goes back to solid ground on the next bit of quarry road, so you're almost trying to bump up a lip where it goes from, yeah, like, deformable terrain to solid terrain. But anyway, move the, uh, the dolphin back up, go for another, another attempt, keep jiggling them wheels left and right. So all I need to do is get that first set of tyres, yeah, there you go, up to, like, what is essentially solid ground. And we're going. Even now, it looked like we might be able to get it done in one. The dolphin in front, it's like a zombie dolphin, but he's found the right way. He's going up the hill. Almost as if he's been loaf trained. And now I already knew without looking around, but I did. <laughs> the middle of the trailer is stuck on the brow of that hill. 
yeah, just to get a proper look there. Them rails, like, it's seesawing the back end up to where it's just lifting, like, the whole back end of the trailer. And it's not too happy about it. So again, more problem solving. Go into this dolphin. Squeezing past that. Still, I wish they'd fix that slow reverse gear. At times it still catches me out every time I go to drop it in reverse and then I just don't drop it in so it jumps back to auto and all sorts. Big nightmare that thing is. Um, yeah, I stuck a winch on the back of the trailer to that dolphin. Hoping, I mean, it's lever and it is doing better than it was without it, but that dolphin isn't quite hanging there. And it's not as professional as a loaf. A loaf would have obviously dug loaf holes. He knows, but this dolphin, not sure. So basically, I reversed the dolphin down, went and poached some fuel out of the uh, generator again because this dolphin was nearly out of fuel. And yeah, we'll attempt to shove it from behind. <laughs> And of course, is definitely something she said. And you see, because I nudged that trailer, it moved the loaf, because it was packed, and when you're not in the truck that's got it packed, and it moves it, yeah. Long story short, I got the loaf off for now. I uh, sorted everything with fuel. He is a goddamn professional, but there's honestly just no point to me sitting here for another 10 minutes trying to get him back on there. Only because I don't know at the minute. Like, I might end up changing back to the other dolphin, and then he'll just get nudged and fall off again, so... We'll worry about him later. But he's definitely saved us and got us to this point so far with the amount of fuel and everything that he's, uh... and spare tyres. That he's helped us with, yeah. It's not going too well, so again, I went into the loaf from behind, stuck a winch, tried to zombie winch the front one. It was kind of working, but the, I'm now not steering, obviously, the dolphin in front, and it was kind of veering off into those rocks which weren't really well so I went back to this method I mean at this point the loaf was off so I was like I will always I can use him as a mobile winch point because we know he's good for pulling practically everything well not practically everything everything <laughs> up the quarry hills and um, yeah a bit of scrambling around turning left and right we are slowly getting there again that dolphin behind is kind of just helping shove the trailer up in the air to sort of like lift the weight of it off the hill so this dolphin can pull it along, but obviously because this is trying to now scramble up solid ground that's got no like terrain deformation really, it, there's not a whole lot for it to grip on, but fortunately we made it happen. Was it more hassle than it's worth? Probably. <laughs> Undoubtedly in fact. But does it give you a bigger sense of pride knowing that you beat the quarry? Yes. And that alone was worth it. Um, yeah, trying to turn here. I cut about a minute out there. Just every time I kept reversing, I just ended up back in the same position. It wasn't quite scooting around enough. Oh no. <laughs> Not now. Not when we've come this far. Again, I would have just sent the loaf up and used him as a winch point, but fortunately. The dolphin scooted his way around. I think it was the front bumper of the dolphin just catching in them uh, like that. Sort of steep a bit at the side. We got it done. Well, <laughs> we got half done. That's six of twelve packaged sand out of there. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be going back to the quarry, so sort of following the same route out that I came in. There's the trailer from the other dolphin that I just left behind while I went for the rescue mission. Right now, <laughs> looking around, my brain was thinking. My brain was ticking. So uh, yeah, went back, got my trailer. Send dolphin number two in. Say hello to loaf. I mean, look at him, what a horse! Yeah, you can see how boggy this is, which already at that point, when I was cutting down, like, the fact that I've already chewed up that hill pretty bad, um, the tyres of the ramped flatbed will sit even deeper in those, like, grooves I've just cut, meaning those rails along the side of the ramped flatbed will dig in even deeper on the, like, lip of that hill. So, uh, yeah, poach some more fuel off this generator. Bloody good job this thing was there. Man, who plans ahead, though? We knew. <laughs> we stashed it.
Yeah, at this point I was more thinking, shall I just drive out the normal way? Because even though I'm going to have to do a couple of laps of the quarry, I mean, again, I edited a fair bit. I mean, I wasn't there for ages, but I probably edited a good five minutes out of, like, getting those things up the hill. So, yeah, it's looking. Do I just follow the wiggly road round? There is, that you can see, to my left, like a thing that I'd able to drive up, but I'd essentially loop back round and drive back into the quarry. But then I was eyeballing it. I was like, well, could I make kind of an S-bend turn? When I get to the top of this hill, I need to go right. But it kind of, yeah, aims you left. But again, far too stubborn for words. So, I've got to know these things. Look at the trailer, it's already trying to scare me. Only reversed like five foot, and it's already like, what? Is it time to tip? Going with the old power, it's not looking amazing. Not like the Dolphin of old, but again, they've kind of messed the gearboxes up. It's sort of hit all the trucks. So it's, uh, yeah, still one of the best. To be fair, I think it's doing pretty well at the minute. It is, uh, has got six lots of cargo. I mean, when we're, I do the review videos, this didn't get up the third quarry hill. And that, I believe, was with a semi-trailer with two lots of slabs, which is kind of the equivalent of four slots of cargo, so... Yeah, this is uh, doing all right. I mean, look at that trailer. It's like, oh my god, please do not do it. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go back down there and get even more. And then, no doubt, suddenly attempt the same way again. <laughs> but, yes, we made it. Drop the hammer time. And again, yeah, maybe it would have just been better to follow the... Uh, well, going down was fine. I uh, I still stand by that way. Yeah, going up was a little bit sketchy. But again, you just wouldn't have that feeling of knowing that you beat the game as much if you just listen to the way it recommends. And just below me, you can see another road to my right. It gets a bit narrow there, and there's also a lot of rocks on the road. So that little shortcut I just took up the steep hill actually was worth it, because I cut a loop and a half almost, really, of like having to drive out of there. You can see the loaf on the level below. This is the hill to my right now that I just drove the last dolphin up. Again, I was looking around like, where am I then? I was like, aha, there's the old horse. I know where I am. Yeah, so it, all in all, that was probably, I would recommend, the best route. Hence why I just left it in this video. If I'd used the same route twice, I would have just cut this section out. But, yeah. I left one in for pure stubbornness <laughs> reasons, and this one I actually think was the best route. See, again with the gears. It's just slower with the gears than it used to be. It's a bit more faffing around. It used to be a lot smoother and sleeker with the, uh, the gear changes and everything. And it'd kind of stay in first pretty solidly plenty of revs and uh, at the minute see again another reason to get yourself a loaf those trucks by the time I got them out were obviously like running lower on fuel so I did some little fuel runs with a loaf back to the generator up there topped all them up back down to the generator top this thing back up to the brim with everything I mean look at him go eats that hill for breakfast we just watched dolphins struggle on that hill and he's in high gear having the time of his life He's got a mission to finish, and he wants to finish it. Well, I mean, obviously the, uh, the main problem at the minute is my loaf kind of fell off the roof of the dolphin, and I don't have a crane on either vehicle, and I don't really have any room anywhere. Of course, we did try. Squeeze myself a fat horse on the back of a trailer, but I don't know. I was like, he's a bit fat for that one. However, observe. <laughs> winch to the back of the loaf, winch to that tree in front of me. Trying to reverse against the winch, but in the end, handbrake. He does a handstand. He's done handstands before. He did one the other day when he was celebrating that contest, so we know he's good for it. And then, yeah, drive the dolphin up to him, winch from the back of the dolphin to the loaf. 
start scooting up that sun visor on the dolphin was just catching his wheels, but squidge him into the tree. Well, wow, plot twist. That loaf and that tree are actually really good friends. That was actually a very touching reunion. Um, yeah, use the winch, scoot him over. Gotta have my centred loaf. <laughs> scoot him up there. Oh no, give it some licks. Release the handbrake. Yes. What a goddamn professional he is. Where would I be without my loaf? <laughs> he wants to finish the mission. He's back on his perch and we're good to go. I get out of the way, telegraph pole. Every time I have a nice view, there's a bloody telegraph pole in my way that ruins it. So, uh, yeah. Drive back out this little bit to the brick factory. Trade in my uh, package sun now. Oh yeah, it's not going now. It's the engine again turned off on the other one. I was like, what the hell? I could sort of tell it wasn't my front dolphin that was stuck because you could kind of see it sort of flooring it and trying to pull forward but yeah it was because that thing had its engine off forgot to lift the ramps up even got some curtains down me dolphin what a beast look at him go can't really see him from the outside but they are there <laughs> they're mine I own them yeah much easier when the engine is running and like I said they're all topped up on fuel now because of the horse because he knows what he's doing not his first dodgy mission. That's well, a dodgy mission, awkward mission. There's a bush floating in the air. Good old mud runner. <laughs> mud runner hints going on there. Everything used to float in the air on that game. I quite like that it's carried over into this game. I don't know if it was on purpose or not, but it's kind of a little hat tip to uh, yeah, mud runner where you used to get random logs and that floating in the air. going well. I was looking now, I see them trees, I was like, I could go to the left down here. I was looking, I thought I panicked. I thought, no mind, I'll just go that way and then there'll be a bloody tree stump or a sea of them that just appear out of nowhere. So yeah, swerved it around this side of the tree. Dolphin behind hasn't even got the turning circle to <laughs> try and hit that tree if he wanted, so... Again, at the last second, I was thinking I should have just cut to the right of that sign, but I went round like, oh no, go wide. At this point, just floor it. Floor it and hope for the best. Yes. So, drop all that off. Go to the next menu, and yeah, you can see at the bottom it's kind of got cement and package sand. One of each builds one bricks. Like I said, bit, bit greedy, bit harsh. But we got it done. Six lots of bricks for me. Can I just say, while I'm at it, look at all the brick pallets lying around. Admittedly, they are smaller brick pallets, but look at them. Look at them all next to the Tega. I already had bricks there. Oh no be good to me trailer. I could have rammed them bricks out of the way but for some reason some OCD within me was like no <laughs> I like the look of them. Oh my god trailer don't do it to me. Jesus Christ. Could have puckered even the most seasoned of anuses but thankfully it didn't quite go. I don't know how. <laughs> it was about as close as you can get without it going. Been really weird tonight. When I go to change truck it just the amount of times it just was not letting me use the menu, I had to keep going uh, like onto the map and doing it that way. See, it takes them a lot quicker, I don't know why, when you... I don't know, I was dropping them off there, but every time it's on a mission it's just slower for some reason. So, floored it a bit quicker, did a handbrake, as you can see, learning from my mistakes, <laughs> or near to. I, uh, I turned the trailer around this time before I pack my bricks on, because again, if that trailer, if those bricks did tip, I'd now have to park these here, go back to the garage, get some of the cr something with the crane, drive it all the way down here. Didn't really fancy doing that if I could help it. Six more bricks. Also, just be very careful if you click, like, switch to the trailer. If you switch to the loading platform and load even one of those bricks on that platform, again, I would have had to have. I'd be screwed because <laughs> I'd need cement and one more package sun to build another brick or a crane. So yeah, just heads up. 
do not do that. And we are finally loaded up with 12 lots of bricks. It's time to get onto the, uh, the paper mill. Which, as you can see from the length of the video left, everything I've done up to this point was kind of the big, fat, juicy part of the mission. <laughs> this bit was just almost like an afterthought by comparison. Got to go back down here, but at least it's downhill. Downhill with the wind behind us, so it should be a little bit quicker than it was on the way up. So we've got some serious leaning on the go. I mean, look at the loaf. Usually, you know, leaning over, inspecting the soil, telling the dolphin for the best, I don't know, the best terrain setting to turn it onto. He concluded it was mud. We never would have known without him. So, yeah, at least I've still got my uh, road train on the go going down here. It's not really nailing the fuel or anything. Again, though, not only did I top them all up the fuel, the loaf has this roof rack fully topped up as well so there is no way by now we are running out of fuel and uh, yeah I quite like using this section I mean when you're at the brick factory you can either cut down here go across the wooden bridge kind of use the bridge from the middle island the other way would be to kind of go straight or left at, back out the uh, brick factory all the way down to the bottom corner, over the bridge, uh, yeah, where the gateway is to Greenwood River, basically, and then drive all the way back up over the railway bridge, then go through all them big sections of mud, and then I'd basically end up like at the factory's bridge where the uh, the Middle Island is anyway. So yeah, this I would definitely recommend as the better the better option. I'm just hoping there's no tree stumps hidden in them bushes. So we know they're good for it. A little bit wide on the bridge, make sure the uh, dolphin number two makes it. Again, you can see like there's a little ledge. It's cutting a bit close, that trailer is hard, oh, don't slip a wheel off, but fortunately that little ledge kind of bumped the trailer up in the air, so it kind of jumped, <laughs> jumped the gap, landed back on the bridge and we're good to go. Now at this point, I can either go left across the uh, like little rock bridge over the river, or I can kind of go up the hill and over the normal bridge. And I think for two reasons, I quite enjoy these rock bridges, so I decided to go for this one. But yeah, it was more, I'd have to do some like mad S bend again to get back on the bridge. Almost double back on myself, so, and with a road train it's just, yeah, too much faffing around and awkwardness. Could have also risked flipping a... Uh, one of the ramped flatbeds so instead we went for it thankfully the road train it's all going well i didn't have to disconnect i thought i might have to send them over separately but the uh, yeah the dolphin behind staying pretty centered with my trailer so it's all good going great i dare say makes you proud to be a dolphin doesn't even make sense but it doesn't have to just has to sound good <laughs> and the rules I, don't, I can't make these things up. I just follow them. Wow. Unless I don't like the rule, and then we ignore it, but again, that is in fact the rules as well. But yeah, thankfully that building you can see over in the top left is the start of the paper factory. If only it was that quick. I mean, either way, by the way, you could, instead of going through the farm, after I got the cement from that cargo creation zone 1, I could have doubled back on myself, gone back through the river, kind of gone past my garage, followed the main road down to this paper mill, and then essentially gone the opposite way to the way I've just gone now, to the uh, brick factory. But yeah, in the end, I just thought, we'll try the farm way, get me a chance to cut over that water and try me little route. Flying in there, I don't know why these things fence off in the way but I was like well we'll see <laughs> if I can run over them do they even exist I mean again you've got to do some serious deliveries to this building they made the whole yard the tightest most awkward sod to drive in we are there we are done feels good 
See? Now the menu's slow as hell. Why? <laughs> I don't get how that works. Or doesn't work, as the case may be. I know I've only brought the bricks, but I feel like I deserve some kind of payout just for this alone. Again, with the slow menu. Yeah, right now I was, I was expecting to hear uplifting music and see money and XP, but no. All that for nothing. This mission best give me like half a million pounds, otherwise I'm going to consider it just not good enough. <laughs> Should have been at least half a million. But yeah, there we go. Pair of dolphins, a goddamn horse of a vehicle. Gets the job done, and that is how to make bricks and how to deliver them. And uh, yeah, that's about it for this mission. I mean, this is just a little drive back. Damaged my suspension, stops like goddamn. That was some serious endo. I think it didn't help with dolphin number two kind of ramming into me. But uh, yeah, the load flew off, but we got him on the trailer. I mean, look, even his little wheel slips off. He claws his way back on. Just every time you want him to do something, he does. Just never lets you down. I'm trying to get this round here. Floor it! God damn it. One day, I will get a road train around that corner. I mean, again, could you make a yard entrance any tighter? I told you we'll see the goddamn professional again. He's out of fuel. He's out well, fine. I'll rescue myself without fuel. He's a beast. There's another beast. We're all in. Done. That's about it for today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Thanks for my Patreon members. Get yourself a life, and I'll be back soon.